Dr. Booth. When Meg Richmond has a question for her doctor, this is often the first thing she does. It's so much easier just to send a message, ask a simple question, and get his opinion. Is this something I need to come in for? On the other end at the Cleveland Clinic, Dr. Eric Boos answers not just Meg's message, but requests from dozens of patients. How many messages do you get a day? Before and after the pandemic, it's actually doubled. That's a lot of extra work. And it's not time that's set aside for us to do. For Boos and other doctors, it means many hours of their own time every day spent answering messages. Some have actually had to cut back on the hours they see patients. So the Cleveland Clinic is one of at least 10 major health care systems now charging for some communications. Booth says a nominal fee applies to less than 1% of digital interactions. Most are covered by insurance, and the bill is never more than $50 out of pocket. This is not about every single message being billed for a patient. This is about certain messages that kind of take a little bit more time for the physician to look at. Examples of what might be billed? asking about new symptoms, a change to medications, or request to complete medical forms. Things like appointment scheduling, refills, or a question that leads to an appointment or follow-up remains free. But patient advocate Cynthia Fisher says it's a step too far. So now you're adding yet another level of charging patients where patients are going to be surprised by these bills. At Brigham and Women's Hospital, they haven't started charging for portal messaging. But Dr. Eve Rittenberg has researched the increased workload for physicians. She says she spends up to five hours answering messages for every four hours she spends with patients. Is there a risk in losing doctors to burnout because of the increased workload? I think that's the real uh, crisis. Studies showing, you know, rates of 50, 60 percent of burnout among U.S. doctors. Okay. Back in Ohio, Meg and her husband Bob think a small fee is fair. I could just go on Google and ask the same question and get 10 different answers. But I want to hear from Dr. Booth. With doctors now at our fingertips, one more question you may want to ask, is that message costing you? Kristen Dahlgren, NBC News, Cleveland. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.